Okay, since you guys won't get scared, here's a story Uranus told me that'll sure haunt you to your core. Have you guys heard of the fifth gas giant? <laughs> you mean the hypothetical planet 9 my Earthlings go nuts over? No, there used to be an extra planet. It's true, mates. He was an ice giant like me and Neptune. Hey, Venus, just continue with the story. During the early days of the solar system, not long after the death of Thea, there was five gas giants. The fifth gas giant was a show-off. He was extremely unstable and often came off his orbit and didn't seem to care about it. Ouch, watch it! Whoopsie. <laughs> Stop, you're getting a little too close. Look out! I've warned that mate to be careful, but he took no notice. Listen, anus, who worries about a few spills? We do here, mate. <laughs> Until one day, the sun said he was going to put an end to his rough orbiting once and for all. The cocky ice giant stopped laughing then, and from that point on, the fifth gas giant tried his best to control his wobbly nature, but every orbit kept getting more dangerously unstable. The gravity of the bigger gas giants pulled him in. He tried to tell them, but they took no notice and the rest of us didn't bother to listen to him. Then one day, the strong gravity of Jupiter pulled him inwards. There was nothing he could do but to beg for mercy. As he got too close, the sun deliberately jerked forward, ejecting that fifth gas giant out of the system, never to be seen again. The sun sure taught him a lesson, just a lonely soul orbiting the center of the galaxy, drifting in the darkness, he became a rogue planet. But some of the dwarf planets will tell you that at a certain part of their orbits, they have seen the fifth gas giant trying to get back home, but never makes it past the Kuiper Belt. So what did you guys think of that story? Maybe inviting Earth to Horror Night was a good idea.